All right, welcome to the channel, and today we're going to talk about how to become a successful coach online. And I'm going to show you how to become a successful coach without any advertising. I'm going to show you how you can become a successful coach without a huge brand that's already built. I'm going to show you how you can become a successful coach even if you do not have an email list right now. As a matter of fact, I'm going to show you how you can become a successful coach fast even if you don't have a social media following at all. Okay, so if you want to become an online coach to either make an impact or maybe you want to become a coach to make more money or maybe you want to become a coach because you really want to help people and build a business that someday allows you to quit your job, then this video is absolutely going to be extremely valuable for you because I am going to take you inside and show you exactly how I have my coaching business set up. I'm going to show you how I do it two different ways, meaning I take one-on-one -on -one consulting calls, kind of like a one-off fee, and I also do long-term, like 30, 60, 90-day coaching sessions. I'm going to show you how I set up and run that as well. So this will be extremely valuable. Really quickly, uh, if you don't know who I am, my name is Brian Brewer. I've been in the digital marketing space since 2012. That's when I first got my start. That's when I first went on to Google and Googled how to make $100 a day. I wonder if you had some of the similar uh, starting points as well. But uh, and long story short, I ended up here uh, seven or eight years later. Now, I was able to finally quit my job in 2016 while still supporting my family of four. Okay, My wife is a stay-at-home mom, so very lucky to be able to provide that opportunity for our family. Now, just to be clear... It didn't take me six years to start, or excuse me, four years to start making any money online. It just took me that long to get to the point where I could feel good about actually walking away from my full-time job. Now, over the years, I've made money with affiliate marketing. I've made money selling courses. I've made some money consulting for bigger companies and brands. And of course, I make money online coaching. And that's where I'm moving towards this day and age. That's why I'm making this video. I think it provides a great opportunity uh, to really serve your clients. I'll talk about that uh, more in just a second. Now, once again, we're going to get into specific details about uh, setting up your successful coaching business. But first, really what I want to cover really quickly is why coaching is so great. Uh, first and foremost, this has to be in your heart. You can actually make an impact with coaching because people respond better to one-on-one -on -one coaching than they than they do to courses. Like digital courses are very popular right now, but if you've ever taken a digital course, you probably already know that a lot of times those digital courses tend to go unfinished. But when you coach people, you hold them accountable. They're more responsive because you build a relationship and that really helps bring the impact. So that's fantastic. Now coaching is also great because beginners, and maybe that's you, maybe you're just getting started or you're thinking about getting started. Beginners can start generating revenue as soon as possible. And the reason for this is there's no need to spend time pre-recording a course, right? Like you don't have to spend three months building out a course. You just take your knowledge or expertise or skill. You find out how you can transform that in a way to actually help people. And then you find people to help, right? So in theory, you could start making money with your coaching business as soon as today. I mean, it, you have the skills, you have the knowledge. Now just find somebody who wants it. It's that simple. And I'm going to show you how you can start charging really quickly. Uh, you don't need a bunch of technical setup. You don't need funnels. You don't need fancy websites. And I'll show you all in just a second here. Uh, but the third reason coaching is great is, you know, selfishly, it actually helps you grow as a person and an entrepreneur. And I had my first coaching client in 2017. Uh, I did, did a course before that. Obviously, I did a lot of trainings uh, on YouTube. But what happened is when I had that first one-on-one, -on -one, that first high-ticket one-on-one coaching person, okay, that's when I started to become a better communicator, a better teacher, a better entrepreneur. So it, selfishly, coaching is great because it helps you out. Uh, so just really quickly, if you do want me to help you get results with your coaching business, obviously I offer private coaching and consulting. I wouldn't be making this video if I didn't actually have a lot of experience doing that. Uh, so if you do want to work with me, just go to, I can't spell, but I can coach. Just got to brianbrewer.com. It'll just be a short little introduction and an opportunity to either uh, schedule a quick 45-minute uh, consulting call or there should be an email on there if you want to want to think about doing something a little bit more long-term, okay? 
So let's get right into it. Well, what are we gonna cover in this particular video? Well, first I'm gonna show you how to get started fast, like how to start your coaching business ASAP without complicated setup. I mentioned you're not gonna need funnels or, or crazy software, just really simple and straightforward. Now, this way you start generating revenue as fast as possible. I'm gonna show you how to find your first clients and I'm gonna show you how to actually run your coaching business, okay? Like if you wanna go like the 30, 60, 90 day stuff, okay? I'm gonna show you the exact setup I use to track everything, to people, to hold my clients accountable and really just to keep me sane and everything really streamlined and straightforward. That way I can help more people. So structuring it couldn't be more simple. I mentioned you don't need any fancy software. Guys, here's the easiest way to take payments possible. Go to calendly.com. Now, if you want to actually take payments, you choose their $15 per month plan. Now, think about that. That's your entire coaching business for $15 a month because the other piece of software I'm going to show you is actually free. Uh, it works really well. Here's kind of my dashboard. Uh, this happens to be my actual 45-minute consultation that I charge for. I'll show you exactly how that works with the Brian Brewer uh, webpage in just a second. Once again, though, this Brian Brewer webpage is going to be optional because you can simply just copy this link and you can put this link into your YouTube videos. You can put this link in your Facebook group. You can put this link in your posts. You know what I mean? Like wherever you're promoting your business, you can just post this link. And once again, you're only at $15 a month. So the cool thing here is I mentioned you could actually use this to charge integrations. Really, really super simple. You can either connect your PayPal account, uh, which is actually the way I do it, or you can create a free Stripe account. Now the benefit of using PayPal over Stripe is that people can use either PayPal or credit cards. Uh, the benefit of using Stripe is the fees are a little bit lower, but either way you can integrate them both and create two separate calendars, it doesn't matter. And then you can integrate with like Zoom. If you're not familiar with Zoom, it's gonna allow you to have these video calls. This is how you actually fulfill the services, right? Especially for the one-off consulting calls, right? Great, so integrate. So the way it works for me is like this. So I have this on my Brian Brewer page, right? After they read this short page, they say, okay, cool, I wanna click here to schedule a call. If they do so, it takes them over to my Calendly page. Once again, there's that link that I mentioned. And then I give them the details. If you want a 45 minute consulting call, there's the price. All they have to simply do is select the date and time that they want. They'll go ahead and confirm that. And then in order to actually finish setting up the consultation they have to pay with PayPal. Once again, they can either pay with PayPal or they can pay with a debit or credit card. So super simple there, right? After they do so, I remember I have the integrations set up. Now I integrate with Google Meet, uh, but you can integrate with Zoom as well. Uh, super simple there. And after they pay and schedule their consultation call, they're gonna get this automated fulfilled email. This link right here, guys, this is their unique link to join me in the call at our scheduled date and time. Super simple. Now, I did mention I do this two different ways. So I do the consulting call thing. That's usually an entry level thing. If someone just wants to discuss to get some clarity, that's the way they go because that's gonna move the needle really, really quickly and that's gonna be instant. Like, okay, cool, schedule a 45 minute call and you're done, you're on your way and you just saved yourself plenty of headaches, right? But then people are usually pretty happy with that. So then they want more, right? They want like 90 day coaching. Well, I also offer 90 day coaching. So if you wanna know more about that, just shoot me an email. I'll put my email uh, down somewhere. It's Brian Brewer at madcamppublishing.com. And then I run that on Trello. So this is my template. This is the kind of the foundation for my extended 90 day coaching program. So Trello is free to use, really cool here. So I have these four different boards set up. I have general questions, and this is just for people to reach out and send me general questions. I have to do, doing, and completed. Okay, this is gonna help keep track of the tasks that are being assigned. That way we can hold our clients accountable and then keep stuff on the horizon. That way we have a clear picture of where we're going, right? It's just super simple if I wanna say, okay, the one thing we have to do in the future is start a YouTube channel. So then I can make a card there. We can actually have communication on this particular card. What this does is this helps keep everything organized. This is so vital to the success of my business because I could not help as many people otherwise if I didn't have this tool. And then, okay, cool, we already started our YouTube channel. Or we're working on starting it. We move it over to the doing section and then once that's done, we move it over to the completed section. 
Again, this tracks our progress, helps keep our clients accountable, and is a great tool for simplifying the extended coaching process. All right, so now let's talk about how to find your first client. It's really simple and really straightforward. Just use YouTube and Facebook groups, okay? YouTube is a search engine, so you create content that simply attracts your ideal customer. And Facebook groups are communities where people hang out when they need support or are trying to achieve a, a common goal. Like, think about if you're a weight loss coach, well, wouldn't you have, like to have a weight loss group to attract people, right? And then you could sell them your advanced court, uh, coaching services? Of course, absolutely. It just makes sense. And think about YouTube. Uh, it's the most passive way to do this because the really what you do is you just create content uh, that's uh, search friendly, okay? Like how to lose weight, how to lose weight in 30 days, how to lose weight in 60 days, how to find a coach to help me lose weight, you know, all those things, just depending on whatever niche you're in or niche you're in. But the thing is, is you create this search content once, then it lives on YouTube forever. So you have potential clients searching, finding your videos, getting introduced to you, and then reaching out to you for your services 24 hours a day, seven days a week for eternity, right? So you just keep creating these search friendly videos, right? So that's why it's the most passive. And then all you do is just like in your video, include a call to action. Like this is exactly what I'm doing right now. Like you're interested in coaching. Okay. Well, I coach coaches. So if you want me to help you personally, one-on-one -on -one, set up your coaching business, I'll just go to brianbrewer.com to get more information, right? That's how this whole thing works. And the thing is, is I don't want you to worry about subscribers because think about it like this views are what's important. You don't need subscribers for a video to get views, especially if you're creating search friendly content. And even if you only get 50 views, right, on a video, think about it. I don't know how many views this video is going to get. Could it get 10, could it get 200, could it get 10,000. I don't know. But the point is, is every single person, because of the way I structured this video, I mean, it's search friendly, every single person who watches this video is actually going to be a perfect potential customer for me, right? So I like those odds, which brings me to a point. If you do want private coaching, make sure you come and check it out because I might be full right now, depending on when you're watching this video. So that's really simple, guys. That's the opportunity. Create the content that draws in your ideal customer and then just have the right call to action. Have a way for them to get in touch with you. Once again, if you want to avoid costly mistakes, potentially saving you hours, weeks, years, or months, go to brianbrewer.com to learn more. Thank you so much for watching this video and we'll see you all soon.